What's up everybody? Catricia Brown here coming to you guys with another YouTube video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. This is actually going to be a very quick tutorial, if you will. It's really just a quick pregnancy ball, a birthing ball video, um, showing you guys some of the things that I did that actually kind of opened me up and bring baby down. Um, well, at least I feel that it helps, so it could possibly help somebody else. Um, during labor, sometimes it's recommended by doulas and midwives to actually go ahead and like labor on the ball so that it can help open you up and bring baby down. Um, personally, for me, I was a little bit too uncomfortable to do it um, in the hospital and their ball was a little bit firmer and just harder than I thought it would be and I just didn't like it. But I do th I do believe that the exercises that I did prior to laboring helped with this, um, helped baby come down. So if you're interested, go ahead and see. All right, around. about the ball. So I got this ball from Amazon. It was about $25. It came with a handheld pump, but you can pretty much get these balls from anywhere. I think Five Below has them, Target. Um, but the one from Amazon, about $20 to $25. They have different sizes and different colors. Um, I got a pink one and I got a black one that's a little bit bigger. I didn't like the, the bigger one. It just was uncomfortable to me. But this one is a 22 inch um, and it was pretty much perfect. Uh, it actually had a little bit more air in it, but I can't find my health help pump, so I'm just gonna make do with <laughs> how it is now. Um, but yeah, you can get the balls from anywhere and they're very reasonable. And let me start off by saying I am in no way, shape, or form any type of personal trainer, anything like that. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys what worked for me, or at least what I believe worked for me. It definitely helped um, with, with just stretching in general. So the first thing I would do is just set my timer for a minute for each exercise. It's really only about four to five exercises that I did. Um, and I'm a little bit clumsy, so I was while watching TV doing these exercises, I just hold on to like a couch or hold on to a coffee table while I did it. Um, but the very first thing I would do is just simply bounce, like make sure that my legs are opened up a little bit and just simply bounce up and down on the ball. Um, just to, it's kind of like a warm up a little bit. I just do this for a minute. And also I would end the exercise with just bouncing up and down on the ball too. And it's kind of fun, <laughs> to me it is. All right, so next I would go just in about 10 circles uh, clockwise and then 10 circles counterclockwise. And you can be as wide and open as you wanna be. I feel like maybe the wider you are, as long as you have balance, it's probably better. And then I just go back the other way. And I would really feel her coming down in this position. And for some reason, like when you're pregnant, at least I was, I would be so tight in this area, like extremely tight every single day. Like no matter if, if I did exercises or not, so I could only imagine how like extremely tight it would be if I hadn't exercised at all on this breaking ball. Okay, so after these few exercises for a minute, I would go and do figure eights. And this is the exercise that I definitely felt her come all the way down. And I felt a lot of pressure and a lot of movements. And like I said, being pregnant, I was clumsy, so I'd have to hold on to something else for balance. So if you feel like you're clumsy and you don't have nothing to hold on to, at least have a partner or somebody there with you because you want to make sure that you're still being safe, especially for, for you and for baby. So just practice being safe. Okay, so after the figure eights, I'm assuming these are like hip lunges or something like that. I would just go like this for one side like 30 seconds or you can even do it like 15 seconds to the right 15 seconds to the left and just repeat until basically your desired time like I said I did it for like a minute each exercise for like a minute multiple times throughout the day though because like I said I would be super super tight and I was like working from home so it was pretty easy to do while I was on the computer or in the evenings when I was just watching tv or something it was easy to do All right, so after that, um, the last exercise before the cool down, <laughs> um, I don't know if these are called hip thrusts or what they are. Like I said, I'm not a personal trainer or anything like that, um, but I would go back and forth like that. And like I said, um, 
make sure that you hold on to something because you do not want to roll off the ball being pregnant. You don't want to roll off the ball, period. But I guess my balance is a little bit better. All right, so after this exercise, it's pretty much done. And I just ended off bouncing back up and down on the ball again and pretty much be, be done with it. So I hope this video helped you guys. Any of my pregnant women out there, I hope you guys are doing good in your pregnancies, period. But I hope that, you know, you're staying hydrated, getting your walks in, staying on your birthing ball. And also, I've created a new Instagram page called moms underscore freaking rock because we do. <laughs> but it's basically just a page that um, helps encourage and inspire moms despite all the challenges that we go through because it's tough being a mom. It's extremely rewarding, but it does have its challenges. Um, so I'm going to be doing giveaways on the page. If you're even if you're not a mom, make sure that you tag somebody or send the page to them because we can use encouragement daily if you know you know okay <laughs> um, make sure that you subscribe that you rate this video that you comment that you share it with somebody who's pregnant um, who desires to be pregnant whatever the case may be um, and i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you guys in the next video